Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is 2.15 in the morning on Thursday, January 13th, 2022. And uh, we have experienced our first major loss of the year. Oh, well, you really can't see it in the dark. But it is of the uh, 2004 Chevy Suburban. Engine didn't sound too healthy. And uh, finally... It got really bad, and I said to him, you know, you've served me well. You've done everything I've asked. All I ask is that you let me do this last DoorDash delivery and bring me home. And you know what he said? He said, fuck you. And engine seized. There's oil in it. But, um, it had been making a ticking sound for, you know, a while now. And I just had the oil changed on not that long ago. I'm not going to blame anyone that did anything. The thing's got 191,000 miles. You know, it's tired. <clears throat> the tow truck driver that brought it back here, um, this is at my neighbor's house. I'm going to ask his son if he wants to buy it, and if not, then I'll have to uh, have it hauled out of here by the junkyard. But the tow truck driver noticed the strobe, asked about it. I showed him how it worked. He liked it and gave me 70 bucks for it. So, at least that's uh, a little bit of recuperating. Got a whole bunch of just shit in here that's going to get cleaned out that's not gonna be fun but anyway i just figured i'd give you all an update on uh poor suburban so honestly i got my money's worth i got my money's worth i really can't complain this is the only time so this is the second time that i've ever had to have it towed the first time was um i was at my old job i was trying to do an oil change and I tore the filter and it was, I didn't have anything to try to grab it with. It was stuck on there like a bastard. And um, I tore the filter so I couldn't drive it. I had to push it out and uh, then have a tow truck come get it then. But out of, I mean, it. it Sure, I needed to keep up on the coolant and the oil all the time, but um, honestly, that thing has been very reliable for what it was, what I paid for it, and everything else. So, I got my money's worth. I got my money's worth. So... Uh, it's gotta go pretty soon like I said hopefully the neighbor's son is interested in buying it giving it a new lease on life um, I'm not overly hopeful for that but we'll see I know um, I know my neighbor my neighbor himself has an engine in his garage the it, Vortec 5.3 so it could be dropped right in and brought back to life but I'm I'm not interested right now in uh, yeah I'm peeing so what I'm not interested in putting another motor in because I need to start getting rid of a couple vehicles anyway so that one was going to go anyway. Um, I was really hoping to get it to 200000 but didn't happen. Oh, yeah. So, it'd be kind of funny if I looked it up through my paperwork, and if it was uh, 
if it was today, two years ago that I bought it. Because it was two years ago this month, I just don't remember what day. But over two years, you know, really it did treat me well. So, I'm certainly going to miss it. It was, I don't think it was one of my favorite vehicles, but it was definitely up there with ones that I've truly enjoyed. Because it was my, you know, beat it around and use it for work and not give a fuck if it got scratched or dented or whatever. Actually, I don't think I ever put a dent in that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was just a knock around. You know, I still always got it fixed and I still always got uh, oil changes and shit done on it on time. But it was just a knock around. Beat it up, beat it down. Pull trailers with it. I brought a Jeep down to Rhode Island with it. <sighs> Oh well. I don't think I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight, but I'm certainly sad that it's gone. But what can you do, really? Anyway, I'm going to sign off because all you're seeing is darkness now and the occasional shine of uh, the moon on my glasses. And I gotta jump in the Explorer. I wanna bring it over to neighbor's house and clean a bunch of, if not all of the junk out of the Suburban so that it's just ready to go to the junkyard if, uh, if it has to. Which, I mean, it, it's also just kind of embarrassing how bad of a mess it is in there anyway, so. Yeah, alright. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments if you haven't, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.